Mo Hotel Ventures Vlog, Friday 6th, 6th of May and uh, it's about quarter to seven in the evening and I'm just having a rip round the, the garage area of my motorhome. Uh, I've been meaning to have a little spring clean for a while, it's getting very, very untidy. So out come the snow chains, out come my snow shovel, uh, what else did I take out? Uh, um, snow shovel, uh, there was a couple of other little bits and pieces that I sort of like, um, uh, can't remember now. But anyway, in the meantime, I just wanted to show you guys. Um, so we have this, I made this, uh, when we first got this, um, this person are, um so I want to do like protect the floor in here and uh, I've got this uh, amazing rubber matting off uh, Amazon I got a big roll of it and uh, so I cut it all to size for the back of my motorhome so we've got this kind of like um, shelfy kind of thing up the front of the motorhome on the uh, the front side of it um, so uh, and it's got a really nice shiny surface on it you can see it look and basically I just wanted to you, you know have something to protect that I didn't want to get it dented um, and scored and all the rest of it so and you know what it's like if um, if I ever sell this motor home it's still going to be in like mint condition under there so it's going to give it that little bit of protection so I'm just going to throw the uh, um, this matting back in now and uh, I've got 41% battery life, so I'm going to just try and rip this video super quick and just show you what I'm putting in back in the motor run. Um, I installed um, some little plugs here uh, back in uh, when we first got this as well. We got a couple of twin USBs there, and we got a 12-volt cigarette lighter uh, in the back there that um, is ideal for the old uh, fridge and uh, the extra fridge that we carry in the back, as you know. And uh, so back in with a mat. Yeah, what I did, it, it's a one-piece piece of rubber that I made here and basically the join um, so I needed to go around this because it goes right in underneath so what I did was cut it up through the middle and as you can see look, it fits really nice and snugly um, down on the ground look, look at that that's proper rubberized matting it goes right up through the back area of that and uh, yeah so cleaned it all off got all the dust off and back she goes and uh, that's looking really nice and i've got a really big piece for this area the main area which i'll just go and get now because i've brushed all this out cleaned it all out give it a bit of a wipe down um we've got um in this motor and we've got anchor points um which are super handy and uh, i use one at the front end here you can see the strap there and i've got a um, another strap there that uh, comes across to hold our chairs we've got some big reclining chairs that sit up in there um right okay big bit of Yeah, just a little bit readjust so it flips down in position just underneath the door all the way around there square it off that looking nice that's looking lovely that is right most important thing for me all my uh, my uh, my towing eye there it is my um, wheel brace uh, long um, bar breaker bar I've got my jack bar and I've got my um, little key in there my little key in there for my wheel winch for the spare wheel just underneath so we got everything in there there's the original uh, wheel brace which i keep in there anyway there's an extension there that will fit on that breaker bar if i do need an extension to get a little bit longer and that there just slides under there perfectly out of the way tucked away so if you ever need it you can access it from both sides so uh, and i normally access it from the near side to be fair so that would be um probably um because I normally carry my chairs up this side. Right, just stowing a few things back in. Up in this corner goes my big reel. It sits there, still in the original box. Look. So I just keep it all nice and tidy in the box. The next one is my, my leads or my electrical connections. They will sit just shy of the, uh, the vent because I like to keep that clear. Um, so that will just sit there. The next one will be my water hoses. Just put the lid, pop the lid on that one. 
plop the lid on that one and then the on the top of there goes my water hoses another thing that needs uh, quick access just in the side of that goes my uh, outside shower Isabella shower he sort of sits in there quite nicely um, the next thing oh what have we got we got uh, my water pressure washer um, so I think did it sneak in there I think yeah it just sneaks in there with enough room for the air to sneak down beside it so he just sits in that one uh, the next one is my outside cooking pots and pans another little uh, bag there full of Another little bag here that I've got. Um, I've just unzipped it, flipped the lid over. That is my off-grid cooking equipment bag. So in there we've got a jet boil, we've got a couple of jet boils, we've got the little uh, jet boil um, flask type um, cooking uh, stove. We've got a couple of uh, mugs in there. We've got some odd plates, got some uh, noise and fort. So uh, if I'm going, um, canoeing stuff like that um, I want to take go for like lunch on the way or something um, kettle in there it's just like an off-grid go for a hike or something that you want to have uh, have some cooking down on the beach that's what that one's all about in the air fryer I cannot live without my chips <laughs> and this big North Face bag so in here is all my um, peggy peg equipment there are straps in there um, what else do I keep in there I keep my um, I think my Sunblocker Pro is in there for my Thule awning. Um, I think the curtains for the panoramic room are in there as well. Um, so I stow loads of straps, tent pegs, clips, um, stuff like that in there. And uh, that just sort of like basically all zips in that little um, North Face. Well, it's quite a big North Face bag to be fair, but it all just goes in there. It's um, just rip it out and just chuck it out on the ground when you want to use Next few items to go in, Malenko's Kadak with the Pizza Stone. Got the grip mats at the back, um, now out of their packaging. I need to find a bag or something for them because they're a little bit, I could do with them, find a nice um, bag to slide them in. Uh, we have got the induction hob back in and the induction, uh, air, um, bloody hell, uh, halogen oven in there, uh, induction hob there. So there are two little essentials two reclining chairs sitting there beautiful in their boxes on the off side of the uh, the vehicle and then i've got this strap that retains them we've just got to put my table in next uh the, the strap also retains the table so i'll get the table yes yeah, so there's the strap down to an anchor point i've got a nice little chrome hook that hooks up in here uh that it just so it just there's not a lot of um, tension on that strap but it just stops this wobbling around and it just keeps it nice and tidy against the front of the uh the, um, the motor home there so that's really nice I'm just looking because I've just um, since uh, um, a new thing for me is this uh, ladder so I'm just looking whether I can put my fridge on that ladder um, just gonna try it now yeah that's not looking too bad for a minute I've got to have another rearrangement before we do the summer strip so uh, basically um, this is just a quick clean out uh, just show you a few of the bits and pieces that uh, we stow in the motorhome. So just by the entrance onto the uh, right here where uh, I keep a few little odds and ends, I have got my little adjustable spanner for my Kadak. I have my uh, USB recharging wire for my um, little uh, igniter that just sits in there. So there's just little handy stuff that keeps down there. Oh, and, a, um, and I've got a little lantern there that he normally sits down there as well. So uh, of an evening, if you want to put a lantern out. So uh, that's not too bad. Love just thrown in our two little small um, quick chairs. So we call them our quick ones. So if we're not reclining, um, they just stow away in there. And uh, just if you want to get them out quickly, quick access uh moroccan matt have anybody seen the moroccan matt um guy well i hope to see him at a motorhome show this uh, the year i could do with a new moroccan matt that one's getting a little bit tatty it's had a lot of use we love it um we have a little step uh, that always comes in handy i'm just down to the nitty gritty kind of stuff now just going to tuck that down in the uh, in a gap down there oh i don't fall into my garage but, uh, oh yeah, that'll, that'll do for a second. There, we've got some uh, walking boots down the bottom. Uh, we have our Crocs. We have our uh, waterproof um, uh, Jack Wolfskin um, jackets, and I always chuck me high vis in, um, just floating around. So if you need to do any uh, any stuff in the rain, and uh, 
that looks like about it to be fair um if you can see that net out there uh, i normally have got um uh insulating panels to go over my tires so when we get down to the heat they will be going in soon and uh, i'm going to have another little revamp uh before we go away i've got to uh, seriously um sort out a few bits and pieces but uh we're getting down um, we never had this normally, which is um, quite a big lump. So, um, yeah, we'll see what we can sort out up and coming. But uh, basically, that's the um, the garage on the Bursner. All nice and uh, squeaky and tidy again now. So, um, that's it from me tonight. Quick one tonight, but I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll catch you later. Doot. Oh, just before I disappear, one thing that I forgot to put back in, and uh, it would normally go in my awning bag, hammer for the 10 pegs. So that would be in the awning bag. 